In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up PayPal Payments on your WooCommerce store. PayPal Payments is an all-in-one checkout solution. Securely accept PayPal, Venmo, credit and debit cards, and more. So the first step would be to download the free PayPal Payments plugin on the WooCommerce Marketplace. I will put that link in the description box below so you can reference. And to set up a PayPal account, you need to have a PayPal business account. So with that, I'm gonna to go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new. And I'm gonna upload the PayPal Payments plugin. I have already downloaded this plugin before this tutorial. So after installing the plugin, I am going to activate the plugin. So after activating the plugin, I'm gonna to go to WooCommerce settings and I'm gonna click this payments tab. So if I scroll down to the bottom, I will see PayPal and PayPal card processing. So I'm gonna drag them both up to the top and PayPal is like for the payment request button. So think like PayPal, PayPal credit, Venmo, pay later. And then the PayPal card processing would be like if you wanted to use it to process credit and debit cards like locally on your site. So for now, I am just going to go down and click save changes. And I am going to go to PayPal checkout and click connect my account. So this is going to bring me to this PayPal checkout and I'm gonna click connect to PayPal. So I'm gonna enter my email address to connect my PayPal account. And since I already have a PayPal business account, I will put that link in the description if you wanna sign up for a PayPal business account. But since I already have a PayPal business account, I'm just gonna click agree and connect and it's gonna to connect to my API credentials. Awesome, so my API credentials have been connected. And now if I click enable the PayPal gateway, and if I scroll to the bottom of this page and click save changes, now my customers on my site will be able to use PayPal um, to purchase, you know, purchase their product. So I updated the coffee grinder to $1 just to show you guys how this works during a test checkout. But let's say I also, you know, add this to the cart. I also will see this on the cart page this PayPal and Venmo button. And then on the checkout page, I also will see this option for PayPal, Venmo, pay later, debit card, etc. So you can customize these settings, you know, right here, if you go back to the PayPal settings, so you can, you know, remove on the single product page, you know, you can remove on the cart if you don't want it to be on the cart, etc. For now, I'm just going to keep um, the default settings. But just know that these are um, something that you could customize with these settings of where these buttons show up. So if I go back to my site, I can see that I have PayPal and I also still have Stripe running. So if I want to run everything through PayPal, I could come back to my payments. And if I didn't want to use Stripe and I also wanted to use like the PayPal card processing, just think it's like similar to Stripe, but just for the credit and debit cards a way for PayPal to accept payment methods locally. So I could also enable this. And if I click set up, it's gonna do the same thing. So let's say I save the changes as well. And if you remember, I disabled the Stripe payment method. And now if I come back to my checkout page, you can see that I'll have two options. So PayPal and then credit cards. So this credit cards option is using PayPal and this one is using like PayPal checkout. So this is like an all in one solution. So if, if you just want to use like these buttons, you just would enable, you know, PayPal checkout. If you wanted to use both PayPal checkout and PayPal card processing, you would enable both. Awesome. So now is the time where I want to do a test transaction. So I'm going to open up an incognito window and go through a sample test transaction to show you guys how it could work. So I'm gonna refresh the Charlie's Coffee site and I'm gonna click into this coffee grinder and I'm gonna click PayPal. So the reason I'm using a incognito window is I can't use the same PayPal account that is my business account to create a transaction as a, like a test. So I, have, would, I would have to use a different PayPal account. So I can say continue. And awesome, it's gonna bring me to this checkout and I can click place order. So I'm just doing a sample checkout just to show you guys how it works and my order went through. 
with my other PayPal account, you could also have, you know, a friend, wife, significant other, whatever, grandma, grandpa, uh, maybe not grandma, grandpa, if they are tech savvy, to test this out for you to make sure everything is going well. And I like just to update a product to $1 just to show you guys um, how this all works. And the reason it was, you know, 645 or 640 is because I have shipping and then tax. So I could come back to my PayPal account and if I go into this activity, so I can see right here that this came through, right? So this was for 640, this was by me and I can see that this transaction happened. So we've set up everything with PayPal payments. We've done a test, a test transaction and now you should be all set setting up PayPal on your WooCommerce site. Now to take things further, you could also use this thing called vaulting if you're using WooCommerce subscriptions. So if you're gonna use vaulting with WooCommerce subscriptions, you can click PayPal card processing, enable this vaulting and click save changes. And then you also would have to go to PayPal checkout and you would have to remove the pay later um, options. So pay later options are, you know, X out because you're using vaulting. And if I just search for vaulting, I can see that I have vaulting enabled because I enabled it also on this PayPal card processing because it tells us you can't use both features at the same time. The pay later options are not available with vaulting and to make sure that you have vaulting set up, if I just search for this vaulting as well, you need to enable vaulting on your account. So to enable vaulting on your account, you need to go to developer.paypal.com and then you need to go under advanced options. So to give you guys a better visual, you would go to developer.paypal.com, click live, click into you know your, your app that you have. I've done a lot of tests, so that's why I'm seeing three different ones. And then you would scroll down to this accept payments uh, and then click advanced options and then click this vaulting. So you'll need to apply for PayPal reference transactions and that will be something I can put in the description box below with more info. But overall, if you guys got value out of this tutorial about how to add PayPal payments to your WooCommerce site, make sure you give me a like, give me a thumbs up. All links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.